So a lot of people in clinic come to me and they're like, I hate squatting, it really hurts my knees. And then they show me a squat and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, spread your legs, you'll have more fun, and lead with the hip, right? Even though it's a knee dominant day, you're never going to lead with the knee. It's only a hinge joint. It wants stability, it doesn't need this extra motion. You want to use your hip, you want to use the biggest muscles in your body. Same thing actually goes for running. So um, I do a lot of running assessment with my guys, um, and we can actually break down their running when we look at foot strike through to mid stance through to toe off. And actually, a fault that we see a lot is at mid stance, because most of the loading when you're running occurs at mid stance, by the way, it's not at foot strike. It's actually at mid stance through the toe off, because it's actually determined by internal loads in your muscles and tendons. And if I see at mid stance someone's knees past their toes, I know they're spending too long on the ground and they're predisposed to knee pain. So actually at mid stance, this I want to see behind the, behind the toes. And you have a hip hinge when you run. Also, you have this 10 degree lean, right? So you're actually loading your hip the whole time when you're running, so you can't actually use this. People who do this, they tend to run really bouncy and load all into the knee and then they're like, I have knee pain. <laughs> like, I know you do. Or the other thing they'll do is this, right? Classic overstride. So they'll land with their knee locked. And the knee is a great shock absorber, but it doesn't really like to load that much. Um, so you want to land under your center of mass, and at mid stance, you want to be loading your hip to propel through, so you're not just loading straight into the knee. Um, can the knee go past the toes though when you squat? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. it can, definitely it can, because otherwise you're going to run out of room. You've got to dorsiflex your ankles, so they, do have, they can go past the knees. It's just not, be allowed, it's not allowed to be the first thing that moves in the squat. Does that make sense? Cool.